honor, loyalty, greed. Such moralistic values have been present since the dawn of mankind. For the Romans, this was no exception. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Friends, Romans, countrymen. You wrong me every way. You wrong me every way, Brutus. There is no terror, Cassius, in your threats. Witness the holy man of Caesar's heart, crying, Long live, hail Caesar. If you have tears, be prepared to shut them down. Let's carve him as a dish fit for the gods. O oh, mighty Caesar, dost thou lie so low? can make anybody want to kill Caesar All I gotta do is stab my knife like this I can make anybody want to kill Caesar All I gotta do is pierce his chest like this People see me and they wanna kill Julius Caesar like me Do you have an unruly dictator in your life? We got just what you need Buy a brand new stabbing knife for $7.99 and get the whole Roman Republic to join in on the fun for just an extra $60. With rave reviews, this product is sure to make your carcass fit for the hounds while multiplying the fun. Buy today and stab your enemy in less than 24 hours. Protect the people and prevent a dictatorship now. Through your lens, how much of a significant figure were you in the assassination of Caesar? In my opinion, Brutus wasn't the mastermind. That was all Cassius's idea. He had the mental corruption. Brutus, being as close as he was to Caesar, was what made him people think it was morally wrong. Brutus killed him in that motive in mind. The motive that Rome was being threatened, and they were removing the threat. I think that his role in the assassination is significant, though, as it allowed Shakespeare to convey the theme of betrayal. When playing as Brutus, did you ever have to force yourself to feel sympathy towards Caesar? As Brutus, I think preserving the morals of what's right and what's wrong in your own eyes is the most important thing. And for Brutus, he saw Caesar as a threat to the greater good of Rome. For Brutus, the loss of freedom and the Roman people is worse than the death of a friend. Thus, his nationalistic ideals gave him the moral rights to kill, as much as he did love Caesar as a person. As the character Brutus himself said, Not that I loved Caesar less, but that I loved Rome more, which is a direct quote from Act 3, Scene 2. So in short, yes, he did feel sympathy in a small dose, but he did it for his homeland, and that feeling of nationalism dulls the guilt. When Brutus was being manipulated by Cassius, do you think that Brutus was aware of the fact that Cassius is not as honorable of a man as he may be portrayed to be? I don't think he realized this because Brutus uh, strives to uphold his honorable personality and he wouldn't befriend someone that is sly and greedy like Cassius. His ignorance towards Cassius's true characteristics is what allowed the plot to move forward, since Brutus would have never participated in Cassius' plans if he were aware of the manipulative nature. Through your lens, do you believe that Antony is truly as noble of a character as he is portrayed to be? Antony took it upon himself to avenge Caesar, putting everything on the line on an expedition that could have resulted in his death or capture. And he was not searching for wealth when he ventured out. He was doing what he believed was morally correct. With these factors weighing in, it is undeniable that Cassius had honor and that he acted out of morality and nothing else. He is truly a noble character. Why does your character insist on gaining revenge upon those who had slain Caesar rather than just starting anew? Antony did not want to simply forget about the tragedy that had struck Rome. He did not want the conspirators to get away with it. He knew that he had to do what was right. 
and without him, it is unlikely that the plot would have gone the way it did. Antony gained access to Caesar's coffers, and only a highly respected member of the Senate would be trustable enough to accomplish this. If it were not for Antony, it is likely that the coffers would have been given to the conspirators. Why does this form of revenge reveal about the inner intentions of your character? Antony's sacrifice for Caesar shows that Antony had good intentions. He was willing to sacrifice for his idol, which means that he had a higher purpose. Instead of just benefiting himself, he was willing to sacrifice for the betterment of his people. And he believed that Rome being led by a group of traitors and conspirators was a disgrace. So he took actions. This isn't something that someone without bravery would do. Tell me more about the character Cassius and his overall role to the plot. Cassius is a Roman senator and he is the one that ultimately pushes Brutus to agree with his plot to assassinate Caesar. He convinces Brutus by addressing Caesar's rise to power in Rome. He persuades Brutus to aid in the assassination of Caesar by manipulating Brutus's honorable characteristics. Cassius is very good at manipulating people to get what he wants, as can be seen when he manipulated Brutus by thinking that they were assassinating Caesar for the good of Rome. But Cassius was actually doing it for personal gain. So Cassius can be regarded as the antagonist of the play. But interestingly, he works alongside with the protagonist, Brutus. How do you think this affected the plot of the story, as Cassius and Brutus are polar opposites in regards to their personality? Though Cassius masked his personality in the beginning of the story, the relationship as partners eroded over time because Cassius couldn't continue to find his true nature, which was that of greed and selfishness. This allowed the plot to develop as their conflicts with one another led to the miscommunications within their armies resulting in their ultimate demise. I can make anybody wanna go vegan. All I gotta do is move my body like this. I can make